Welcome back to the Fallout 76 story playthrough. In the last episode, we wrapped up our business here at Riverside Manor, finished up with the Order of Mysteries. So, uh, what are we going to look at next? So one thing we have is this, the missing link. If we check our map, that's up at top of the world. Follow Madigan's trail, that was, Madigan's supposed to have some information for us for how to fight the Scorch Plague. But also, we picked up, back when we got inoculated, I guess, um, the new arrivals. Now that I'm inoculated against the Scorch Plague, I should speak to the Overseer back at her home in Sutton. So let's, uh, let's just take a look here. Do we have a map marker for that? No. Listen to the Overseer's broadcast on the radio. Let's listen to that. Broadcasting to the people of Vault 76. This is the Overseer. We need to talk face to face. I've missed all of you, but this isn't just about a reunion. We have work to do. I'll be waiting in Sutton. Okay, so that quest wants us to go to the Overseer's home. The Overseer wants to talk to us now that we've uh, sort of made our way up in the world and inoculated ourselves against the Scorch Plague. So maybe that's what we want to do next. I did notice that an event just popped up though, so maybe we want to do an event also. I will show. So last episode we hit level 50. Level 55 now actually, but... Level 50 is the max level for gear, so we're able to get max level gear now. So I went and I rolled some combat shotguns. I had enough legendary modules and legendary cores saved up from the events we've been doing that I was able to roll eight two-star weapons. I did two-star because we were limited on the number of rolls we could make, and the third star generally isn't nearly as important as the first and second. But I ended up getting a couple of pretty good shotguns, actually. Uh, this was my very first roll. Mutant's Explosive. Could be better, but pretty good. It's gonna do it's gonna do the job for us for now. And then on the very second roll, Vampire 50% extra crit damage. We're still using all non-legendary armor. I have upgraded it all to level 45 or 50, which is max level. But these two are about to break, and uh this one is legendary and it's overeaters, which is good, but it's wood armor, which is not good. So we could stand to upgrade all of those pieces of armor. I would also like to pick up a weapon that we can eventually use with Friendly Fire Perk for healing. And I think the best option for that is going to be a chainsaw for this character. So we'll have to keep an eye out for picking up a chainsaw somewhere along the line. Uh, as for the moment, why don't we get down to that event that just popped up? Somebody catch that chicken. Boss wave super mutant behemoth. I think I'll just cripple you and leave you for somebody else to deal with. The other people want to get hits too. That's very, it's very distracting, dude. Can lay down.
by Seneca Rocks. They were going to batch it through that giant radio array on the other side of the mountain and use it to boost their radio. Only I don't have the plans. <laughs> it didn't seem important at the time. Ugh, I'm kicking myself for not taking the schematic when I found it. I'd go back and get them, but who knows what sort of rotten lowlifes would ransack this place while I'm gone. Okay, I need you to find the plans, build the repeater, and patch it into the array following their notes. Easy peasy, right? I'll take the rest from there. We'll be in business. Rose and, uh, whatever your name is. Okay, so we've made it to Top of the World in the way of uh, following Madigan's trail. This is where it led us. But apparently someone named Rose needs us to do something for her before she will let us in there to check out Madigan. So I guess we'll toggle follow Madigan's trail off for the moment until we're able to pick that up again. We've been given a task to come up here and find a signal repeater schematic, so maybe, maybe we'll head that way and then sort of take a roundabout route down and talk to the overseer on the way through there too, or maybe we'll go the other way, I don't know. I did notice there's an overseer's cache right here, which will have an overseer's log in it, so let's go ahead and listen to that. Overseer's log, top of the world. There's someone in control of this old ski resort, and if I ever find her, I'm gonna wash her mouth out with the first thing vaguely resembling soap I can get my hands on. <sighs> Selfish. That's the word. Maybe that's why she's alone. Maybe that's why she survived. But the only way she'll tell me what she knows is if I help her first. All the good people I've learned about who've died, and it's the sociopath who still gets to live. Okay, well. Let's see what else was in that cache. Anything... Useful? Not particularly. Dog food and water. Thank you. So, I think perhaps let's take a walk up this way. We can kind of skirt our way down the ski hills and the cliff out. I think if we come down a little ways this way, we can come up there and find the signal repeater schematic. Once we have that, I think maybe we'll make our way down this way um, towards the overseer's home and go talk to the overseer. So first, let's start heading north from here. Hey, I was just making my way down the cliffs to work our way towards, uh, whatever it was. Signal repeater schematic. And there's a little campsite here. And there's a chainsaw. I was just looking for a chainsaw. What level is that thing, by the way? Level 20. Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to make do with it. Maybe I can use that. Clean up this. It appears that whatever we're looking for, a signal repeater schematic, is in some sort of little little village or something here. Seneca Rocks Visitor Center. I'll take some drugs. Okay, it looks like our objective... Looks like there's two of them, but I'm also seeing. Wait a minute! Don't ref, don't forget we have binoculars. I'm also seeing some scorched hanging around. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to deal with them. Dead dude right here. Oh, a bear! A bear! We need a photo of a bear. Well, let's go say hi to our bear. Rippled. And dead. Looks like we've woken the scorched up. Whoop. Get up on me. Okay, let's see what we got here. Responder corpse? Are you, are you supposed to be empty? Because you're empty. 
What was the other one? Major Darian Jones. Signal repeater notes. Okay, so these are the parts we need. Take that with me. Signal repeater schematic. Okay, I'm gonna need to find those parts. Um, looks like here and here. Well, that's handy because we were saying we we're gonna walk over here anyway. So I guess we'll take a walk across country to uh, search for an SMU-97 transponder next. Can't help but notice the uh, Swarm of Suitors event just popped up, and that spawns Mirelarks, which we need to take pictures of. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, unfortunately, we completed the event without spawning a queen, because uh, these guys all killed the Mirelarks as soon as they appeared. Okay, let's get back on our original task. Search for an SMU transponder. Don't have a fast travel point anywhere near there. Um, well, maybe we'll do it in slightly reverse order. Go to the overseer's office first. Discovered Sutton. Discovered Overseer's home. Oh, a weapons bench. Good. Just had a feeling. So a minute ago we unlocked Compensator, which is probably what we want. Let's go ahead and put that on. What does that do for us? Bit drop in range, but a bit boost in accuracy. I think that's maybe a worthwhile trade-off. I guess we'll play with it and see how it feels. Okay, let's head on inside the Overseer's house and see what she has to say. Oh, Hello? Glad you're here. I almost... It's just so good to see you. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's... someone I'd like you to meet. Okay. I'm gonna eat your pumpkin pie, though. Okay, you've got a robot. He's at Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance, keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. The overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? Um, I'm inoculated, if that's what you mean. Good, because we're going to need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. Okay, I'll see what I can do about that. I knew I could count on you. We don't want this plague I'll spreading any more than it has to. Enough of the inoculation for everyone. You just get them all to agree. What do you know about them? Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old raider pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might uh need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting, or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. You can count on me to get it done. Thank you. 
Really? It's good to have my vault family around again. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just be careful. Okay, quest started here to stay. Strangers to Appalachia coming to stay. So let's take a look. What what did we just do? Talk to the settler leader. Complete signal strength, that's the one we were already working on. So complete strange bedfellows and here to stay. What was strange bedfellows? Oh, complete signal strength. Okay, well. So, complete signal strength is what we were already working on. That's We need to pick up a transponder and a duplexer and bring it up to rows. Um, the other one... We need to make contact with the settler leader way down here. We haven't been there yet, but it's not too far out of the way, is it? Because we've been here, so we could walk from there. We could also walk from this person's camp, I suppose. Well, for the moment, let's do what we were doing and head on over to search for a transponder. Looks like we're going to pass through a little town here. Scorched right there, two of them. Alicia. It's full of scorch. Can't stop. Coming in behind me too. Oh, not done yet. Here, gunshot still. This town is just overrun. Is that it? Let's check this church out. A lot of uh, petrified corpse remains in here. And that is definitely not a normal thing to see behind the altar at a church. Like a whole little sacrificial section here. Fusion core candles. Interesting. Okay, heading on into town. I don't really want to get too distracted from our task, but take a quick look in a couple of these buildings. Airplane crash. I'm going to the crash site with the locals. This town is on the brink. This could be the catalyst. Okay. Aha! Airplane crash. There's a wing. Uh, is that like the fuselage up there? Some chunks tangled up in this tower. I think that's where we're going, right? Yes, it is. And it also appears that there's someone already there. We've got super mutants. He was just growing tomatoes. I just he was just growing tomatoes and I came up and murdered him. Uh this is like somebody died here. <laughs> this is their death bag. Is this that person? Could be, you know. Taking his stuff. That was a super mutant, right? For a moment I thought it was whoever died was shooting at me for taking his stuff. Where's that coming from? 
there's... He's just standing there. I think, uh... I think the guy standing there T-posing is not really there. It's a glitch of some sort. Either that or he's just completely AFK. SMU 97 transponder. That's what we needed. Okay, Radiation Rumble just popped up. Why don't we go do that, actually? Because we could still stand to take a couple more level ups. There's still a few more perks that I don't have access to yet that I would like to get. Okay, one. I have railways hot feed, I do. Ten, so that's four tunnels done. That should get us to forty ore, which is fifty is max. So if I could pick up ten more, that would be great. Somebody is using one of those very annoying nuke launcher weapons. Eight. Just need two more. Nine. Ten. That should be fifty total for max. Might as well grab another couple just in case I miscounted while I'm in here. There. One spare. Let's go turn all this in. Oh, two spares, because that one just respawned. We go. Reward level four. See, they get caught in the tunnels here killing each other. And if you don't come down, they'll kill each other. And then, the, of course, the winners will come up to the top. But you've missed out on some spawns if you let them kill each other. Oof. Right after the event ended. Awesome. Hey, I got the rad barrel plan. Okay, with radiation rumble down and all of that stuff script, we are back on task. Searching for an RX duplicator. 
Duplicator? Duplexer. Yeah, duplexer. This, uh... This train crash seems to be the place we should check. Uh, that's a sentry bot. Where is that? There. It's over there. Blep. Oop. Still something out here. Okay. RX duplexer. That's what we needed. Construct the signal repeater at any Tinker's workbench. Well, you know what? My survival tent has a Tinker's workbench in it. Quest items, signal repeater. Go to the National Isolated Radio Array. It's getting more involved than I thought it was. Okay, so that's out here. Um, we could travel into this person's camp, I suppose. Let's go for it. Okay, this must be the National Isolated Radio Array. That's a big old radio antenna. Now, there's a super mutant somewhere, so apparently we're dealing with super mutants here. I saw the health bar pop up, but I didn't actually see where it was at. Inside objective area. Up there, apparently, where I need to be. That thing's cool. There's our super mutant. Hello. There we go. Lots of misses there. Okay, right up the hill, install the signal repeater. Okay, if you say so. Divert power to the receiver. Oh, that's where we were just at. Array status. Unknown repeater component unpowered. Well, that's what we want to fix. Component control, divert power to auxiliary component. When it is online. This is an emergency alert. It's the end of the world and we're all fucked! <laughs> I love this game. My friend, you just helped me tap into the emergency broadcast system for the whole region. Oh, this is going to be so much fun! <laughs> fun enough small talk. Full disclosure, I didn't think you'd succeed at getting my signal working. So, I was just gonna kill you and take your stuff when you came back? If you came back at all, that is. Guess it'd be a real dick move for me to do that now. Look, I'm what you people would call a raider. Killing, stealing, and cheating is kind of my shtick. And thanks to you, I've got a working radio. So I can reach other like-minded individuals and get them to join me. You open the floodgates. Hey, come see me at the top of the world when you get the chance. I've got something for ya. And I pinky swear I won't kill ya. Back to the top of the world and let's speak with Rose. You're a robot. Huh. Well, this is a little awkward. Not what either one of us expected, eh? Anyway, to prove I'm not a monster, I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward.
still hanging around, huh? All right, spit it out. I may have all day, but you're the one with the job to do. I need you to get me in touch with the raiders. Ooh, I thought you might notice them. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Okay, what's your plan? I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you. So where's this memorial? would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Yeah, sure. I'm pretty good at trashing places. Ah, I knew I could count on you, and I swear this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Oh, look here. This is Madigan. We came here to. Well, we came here to talk to Madigan, but he doesn't look like he's going to be doing any talking anytime soon. Let's investigate. Oh, I see now. You're here about that guy, huh? Well, good luck getting anything out of him. He's been dead a while. He, I got a message that he found something he called a game changer. Do you know what it is? Who knows what goes through their dopey responder brains. Can you imagine going through life 100% chem-free? Anyway, you're probably looking for that Scorch Detector uplink thingamajiggy was trying to install when they caught him. Seems real handy. I know where it is, but I'm not ready to talk. But maybe if you help me out, I'll trust you enough. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to help her out before we can make any progress there. Oh, hey, uh, I have something to say to you. Now, what was it? Uh, ah, right. So, want to help me out again? I guess if I have to? So, the old bands of raiders each have their own, like, pet projects or whatever. You know, to be all special. If I'm ever going to rebuild a raider army, I need to figure out which of these crazy tactics actually work. We both win. I get answers and you get a new toolbox full of scary things you can use to terrify your enemies and gross out your friends. Alright, whatever. Just tell me what I need to do. Okay, so Rose wants us to 
get David's trophy, and add a Karma Syringe Barrel. I guess we need a weapons workbench for that. I guess we could really quick make a trip down to talk to the settler leader. We needed to get that done too. Um, maybe we'll just try to make a quick run down there, starting from White Spring Station. Well, this is some random camp that was right outside of White Spring Station. It's not on the map. They don't have their icon turned on. But there's a weapons bench. We want to add Karma Syringe Barrel. Jesus. Okay. Hey, look, a rabbit. Wait, where did my camera go? So I found a Yaogwai. Rose told me to shoot a Yaogwai with the Karma Syringer. She also told me that it's going to make it stronger for a minute. So I grabbed this thing. I made this when I was rolling weapons. It's a suppressor's combat shotgun. Um, it's not very good. I'm going to script it. But it might be useful just in this one particular situation. Let's find out. Actually, I don't think we need suppressors. We... oh, there's another one. Okay, maybe we do need suppressors if there's two of them attacking us. Where are you going? Did you just disappear? You're here somewhere, right? Oh, yep, you're here! Okay. There we go. Word to the wise, that karma stuff can backfire on you if you're not careful. And take it from me. You don't want to use it on yourself. Unless, you know, you're really confident you can kill everything around you before it wears off. Okay, next we've got explosions. <laughs> the trappers would rig up big with explosives to take on some of the more dangerous game out there. I want you to go make some explosive bait and don't blow your fingers off in the process. You're not a robot like me. No replacement hands for you. Craft explosive bait at any Tinker's workbench, okay? Once again, I have a Tinker's Workbench that I can just summon from the void whenever I want. Do I have the ingredients to craft an explosive bait? I do not. What do I need? A frag mine and a radstag meat. Well, I could make a frag mine. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have. I do have Demo Expert, actually, so all I need is a radstag meat. Make that work. Well, let's continue on what we were doing, and if we're lucky, we'll run across a rad stag out here in the woods.
seem to have a quest marker right here at this building. Follow the Overseer's journey. Well, let's listen to this. Oh, hey. Another chainsaw. Is this one level 20 or is this one better? Level 40? That's better. Not level 50, but it's better. Alright, well this is where I was sent to talk to the settler leader. There is like a... cool spiky bridge here. Foundation. I hate this misty fog crap. Discovered foundation. Foundation is growing every day. They can't build it. It's a it's a whole settlement. Look at this. You must be the settler leader. Well, uh, this is a little awkward. You're from one of the local vaults, right? Hope you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because <laughs> we're already kind of here. And if you want to kick us out, then the answer's no. <laughs> if the walls weren't already kind of a statement to that effect. Well, the important thing is that we need to get you inoculated against the plague. Inoculated? This some kind of a scare tactic? No, it's not, unfortunately. Huh? That might just explain a few things. But you're saying it's an infection. All my people are at risk? Thanks for the warning, but... You know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things, too. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor, Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp, get the lay of things. You talk to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced too. Deal? Okay, if that's what I gotta do. Assuming he agrees with you about this disease, then we'll hear you out. Find Aubrey at the observation camp. That's that's still quite a ways further down. I think I'm gonna not do that at the moment. We'll save that for future. Let's head back to camp right now. I'm wondering, there's often yep, there's often radstags here. Let's get some radstag meat real quick. Dial it into the network. Let us know. Now that we have a frag mine, we can craft explosive bait. Use explosive bait on a creature. Great. You've got yourself some 
throw us some meat-covered explosives. But now what? Well, use your imagination. The trapper sure did. Any hungry carnivore is sure to be drawn in by the smell of fresh meat. So this one time Chuck, he was the guy who came up with this crazy idea. He laid out explosive bait along the trail after a raid. Then, when the responders came looking for us with their tracking dogs, well, let's just say the hounds lost their scent. You know, because their heads were blown off. Listening. <laughs> uh, whatever. You get what I'm saying. I don't care what you use your bait on. Just use it to kill some things that would kill and eat you. Let me know how it works for you. Okay, find a carnivore, eh? Shouldn't be too tough to do. Mole rats are carnivores, aren't they? Okay, I guess that was good enough. Approach a death claw and make friends. Well, I've I've been here before and seen a death claw, so let's go check that again. So how does one make friends with a death claw? Found you. Make friends. Oh, I don't think it wants to be friends. Whoa! Hey, hold on! I didn't actually do it! Slow down, buddy. We're talking about a death claw here for crying out loud. <sighs> well, you're there now. Either kill it or don't. I don't care. As long as I don't need to find a new assistant. It's, it's dead, game. There we go. Hey, good on you for killing one of the nastiest creatures out there. I mean, you're fucking nuts for even trying it. But I like that about you. It's probably a good time to teach you that not everyone can be your friend out there. That's the real takeaway from the diehards. Moving on, the Blackwater Bandits were known for being sneaky thieves. Let me tell you, they once hit a Brotherhood of Steel camp. <laughs> Insane, right? They snuck right past the guards and stole guns, ammo, mini nukes, you name it. Right out from under the poor bastards while the rest of them slept. Next thing you know, the knights moved on out with their tails between their legs, and we had a new arsenal. Well, we still have heavily armed super mutants. Go steal from them, sneak around. Maybe you won't have to fight them all. But really, all I care about is their gun stash. Might be a good haul, might not. There's only one way to find out. Okay, steal from a super mutant camp. This is... Getting stranger and stranger. Apparently I need to get all the way up there. I assume there are super mutants around here. Yes, there's one. Hi. Missile launcher. Ooh, what'd you find? A missile launcher? Bet you could 
got some real damage with that. <laughs> uh, whatever you picked up, uh, keep it. You've earned it. Okay, this one's a little disgusting, but it's ruthless, so I like it. Oh, my stomach turns just thinking about this. Then again, I haven't been hungry in a while, so who knows how desperate I'll be when I am and there's no more food to eat. Kinda like the gourmands. We called them that instead of what they really were. Cannibals. I'm not gonna make you eat anyone, but let's go through the exercise anyway. I saw a roaming pack of feral ghouls I want you to hunt down. They're always good for target practice anyway. I'm not saying the gourmands had the right idea. Ugh. But no one can claim they went hungry eating human. Or ex-human flesh. Just, uh, use a toothpick or something before you come back to visit? <laughs> I don't want to catch a whiff of rotting ghoul flesh on your breath. And we've made our way down to Charleston to kill a feral ghoul. There's a feral ghoul now. Are you alive? You are alive. Okay. Now, the gore moms would go ahead and eat that. Ugh. I can't make you do it! But you're not gonna chicken out on me, are you? Either way, it's time to report back. I am not gonna eat that ghoul, Rose. Well, you've learned a bunch of stuff about raider tactics, and I've gotta say, they all seem ridiculous. Really entertaining to watch from here! <laughs> Were they effective? Ooh, I guess so. You survived, didn't you? We can talk about your reward when you get here. Good job! Uh, you? I've got 20, 2300 script. Wow. All right, back to. All right, back to Rose. Ah, you're back. Why are you looking at me like you want something? Your reward is the knowledge you've gained from me. Congratulations. <laughs> Hell, whatever. You can have some more stuff I got laying around, too. like I trust you enough now to let you in on a little secret. My old raider pals left a cache of treasure behind when they all checked out. Problem is, it's locked away and I can't get in there. Double problem. No one trusted each other enough to give anyone complete access to the treasure. So how does that work? So they split up the key. See, each gang's leader had a holotape with their own personal password on it. Find them all so I can batch them together and make the master key. It's more technical than that, but you wouldn't understand. Check out Blackwater Mine first. That's the last place we heard from Freddie Lang, the leader of the Blackwater Bandits. Pretty sure she had a terminal there. Might be worth a look-see. Okay, I guess. So it looks like we need to track down some key fragments, whatever that means, starting at Blackwater Mine. And we also need to get David's trophy. I think we'll save both of those things for next time.
Okay, there's one more thing I think we're going to take a crack at today. And that is daily ops. We've never done this before, have we? I did start a daily ops team, but no one has joined me so far. Let's uh let's just eat and drink real quick before we do anything. Okay, so task right now is to repair the signal repeater. Let's get on that. There's the signal repeater. Repaired. Okay. The repeater's coming through now. Head to the first uplink. Let's get them connected. Boost the signal at site alpha. Orbit bravo. Not sure which one we're at. Signal calibration starting now. Uh, looks like you've got company. Alpha, apparently. Okay, we need to hang out in the signal zone. These enemies do have the freezing mutation, so if they hit me, they will slow me down. And it's not just your movement speed, but all speeds. So, like, healing when you try to take a stem pack, or rate of fire for your gun. It all slows down. To move. Same thing here that we did at the other uplink. Watch that grenade come over the ledge at me. All right, moving on. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Two seconds to spare. Okay, let's see what we got. Two bad legendaries and a plan for open neon signs. Awesome. I feel so rewarded. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we will see what we can do about... Well, I guess we've got options, don't we? We can go after David's trophy. We can go to the Blackwater Mine and look for uh, whatever information it was there we needed for the keys. Or we could go track down Aubrey at the observation camp. I guess we'll make a decision then. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.